You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the number one station for independent artists. Moving forward, though, let's get into our vault reviews that we have not had in in the vault in a long time. The vault reviews are where we listen to an album that is historic in nature, and we listen to see is it true. Is it really a classic? Right. Are we sipping tea or lighting up to the to the classic history of this album? So Francois, this is Francois's pick. Uh oh. Who did you pick I'm for this introduce. album? So the album that I selected, okay, is by Herb Alpert. Herb and the Alpert. album is called Rise. Okay. So the reason why I selected this album, please tell us. I will tell you guys because I know <laughs> I know when they saw it at first they were just like, "What is this?" I uh, know I was like, "What they happened?" Like, who who is this and why did he select this album? So, a lot of you that do not know, uh, Herb Alpert is a legendary jazz artist, and um, when he came out with this album, this album was one of the few albums that was a top ten hit on the R and B charts on the pop charts as well as the jazz charts wow so i thought it would be so great for us to do a in the vault review on an album that crossed different genres with just one album you know mm, mm. and um i was telling junior missy there's a song featured on this album that when they hear the song they're gonna know that this was a song that was sampled a lot you know so so i picked this album and and uh no, um, I, did, I did not know the sample, though. I did not know which one was sampled. I had oh, an idea okay. of which one. So I, I, yes, I, I had, I had an idea, so but I, will. I didn't know way. exactly which one it was. Yeah. I will. So, um, on the count of three, we're going to either sip tea or we're going to light it up. Okay. Ready? So, one, two, three. Light, light it up. I'm sipping tea. Light it up. Oh, Junior is sipping tea. Okay. So, Junior, why are you sipping tea? Uh, I'm sipping tea because I felt like the album was experimental. Really? When I listened to it. I felt like the album, not that it wasn't, it didn't sound well. I just thought that listening to it, it kind of threw me off. It it was going in many different directions, right? Not like your typical jazz album, I don't think. Um, for me, is uh, when I listened to it, I, I I fell asleep on it. You did? I did. I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> what, what were you no doing? disrespect what were to you the great herd. Laying down, oh, yeah, right. I was laying down, you, and I, you I was laying fall down. Asleep to anything if you're laying down. That is, I don't normally just fall asleep to just like having the earbuds in and listen to it. And I definitely want to give e everything a try. Right. So I recognize, you know, the legend and who he is and his music. I would just say maybe this particular album is not the one that I will put into my playlist, my catalog. Right. Um, I, I, I have to sip tea on it because it wasn't for me. Now, there may be other albums I'm like, that's the one by Herb that I really, really enjoy. But for this album, I, I just didn't. I, there's there's probably one song that I gravitated to out of the entire album. Which one was what it? What was that? Uh, let me go back. Let me go back and see. I'm trying to pull up the album right now. But uh, anyway, as I look that up, I'll let you guys know. You guys can go ahead with your review. Okay, Missy. <laughs> All right. Well, I um, had never heard the album before. And so I w when I was listening to it, the first song, <coughs> it was like eight minutes long, right? The, the intro to the album. 1980. Yeah. And yeah. You, sometimes when when the intro to albums, they like play the instrumentals for a really long time and then they finally get into like the words and stuff. And it took me about four and a half minutes to realize that there was going to be no words on this song. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, hmm, I wonder if the rest of the, the album's like that. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just right. instruments the whole time. Right, yeah, yeah. And the thing about it was, uh, well, they had one song with some words on it, which um, it was okay, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm like, hey, well, which way are you going? You're going to do the instruments the whole time or you're going to sing some part of it? You know, wh which way? Anyways, so right. I really enjoyed all the instruments. Um, and the point of songs and music is to like take you on a story and i thought it was so crazy that these songs could take us on a story even with just the instruments and mm, no good words point. to it at all mm -hmm. good point and the fact i was making up my own stories because there was obviously none because there was no song to it or the words to it but also um 
I just felt like I was like in a movie or something. And you had yes, said that I, there I was get a, the movie part. Yeah. yeah, I definitely get that. And Francis, you had said that there was a lot of like movies that have sampled this life. before. That's it. Street life. I had street life. Street life is the one that I enjoyed. Street life. I uh, screenshot it. There you go. I like street, that one okay, too. so yeah, street oh, life is yeah. my favorite off the album. Okay, cool. Now, is that street life is the only life? Is that the one? There, there's that's one. Okay, that's one that they okay. That's one one sample. But, but I that's did, one, like, okay. So that's that came one. from Herb. Yes. Okay. See, Herb, that's it. Herb is just Herb is like a legend that so many people are so funny because like I'll even go further. So the song, the cover, Rise. There's mm-hmm. a song called Rise. Right. A lot of people do not know. So a, a lot of uh, my my soap opera fans. Mm-hmm. It was actually the theme song to General Hospital. That's, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's what it is so, too. I noticed that. So okay. another thing too is a that's lot a theme of, song to General Hospital. It was. A, it, it no was. longer is. Okay. For like a season. For for like yeah, yeah. for 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 some time and then uh. Did, did you watch soap operas? How you do that? My grandmother actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh okay. Oh wow. yeah. yeah. That makes sense. See, yeah. see we all we all got them ladies in the house yeah. that, that will. Did that you will, ever watch soap operas? I did. I did. Give me one you watched. General Hospital. What about you, Missy? Days of Our Lives. I used to watch Passions. Young and Passions. the Restless. Passions. Young and the Restless. Passions. Young and the Restless. Passions, Passions. Yeah. Passions was, yeah. But I like I like. there's a black guy on there. But I apart like from yeah. that, there's a song you guys have all heard that which, also okay, took Hotline the sample from Rise. No, because th- I had heard several so, um, so things that I recognized there was, in there, Rise. There's a, there's a guy by the name of Notorious B.I.G. who had a song called Hypnotize. That oh, that's what that's Rise. From? Okay, now I'm going to go back doom, and listen doom, to it. Doom, doom, yeah, I'm going to go back doom, and listen doom, to that. So, okay. So it, it's really cool. So I remember when I would hear Hypnotize from uh, Biggie, I was like, Sean Puffy Combs is so smart. That he would go ahead and use that. Because like, I'm sitting there like nobody is even thinking about a Herb Alper song. <laughs> and, um, and he uses and it. And he uses it. And then another track, um, he, a lot of his songs are sampled so much. Her just recently did a song called Damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it takes... Um, a lot of people may not know, but he had a record label called a and Records that he started. Okay. Janet Jackson was most likely his biggest artist ever on a and mm-hmm. The track features Janet Jackson and another young lady. I'm trying to remember her name right now, but it's um, it's uh, a song that Janet Jackson would use during her intermissions, and that's the song her sampled for that song, Damage. Wow. wow. So uh, if you go back sample and look, of sample. sample of a sample. So... Um, just a little history on her about birth. So I just thought it would be great the to historian, just, the historian. The historian always <laughs> doing yeah. it. I told just you to guys. Y'all thought I was playing with y'all. He know all the facts. Yeah, so he know uh, all so, the facts on these artists, right? So definitely, you know, um, even if this wasn't your um cup of tea and mm-hmm. you were sipping tea on it, the man's got so many um right. he's jazz just, is jazz is a tough thing for a lot of people to get yeah, into. He, it is it is very relaxing. Right, man. He's very talented. Uh Street Life, it just I think I listened to that twice. Because mm-hmm. I was like, is that Street Life the one that the girl is singing? And you know, so yeah. Oh yeah. He a lot of people sample from sample from him. And I probably would appreciate it more if I knew the samples ahead of time that I would have been listening to. Maybe, but it's kind of. I'm kind of glad I didn't know. You know. Yeah, it it threw me for a loop. Dean, you were gonna say something. I think another one is "Ain't Nobody." Ain't nobody. Ain't, ain't, ain't nobody. nobody. Okay. Yeah. That beginning. Dun, 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 yeah. Dun, dun. Wow. Yes. So he. So he's the damn. He's sampling all over. Albert. Oh yeah. Her, okay. Herb is just incredible. Shout out to Herb Alpert. Shout and, out to uh, Herb Alpert. Um, and we're gonna have to find uh Street Life, since we all since we like that song and put it. Well, out. I, I also I, really liked Rise. You like that, like that Rise. One I really Which like one, Street well. Life or Rise? Which one would you Rise. say better? I like Rise as well. Better yeah. than Street Life. Better uh, than yeah. Street Life. Rise, oh. ri- Rise. Is <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? Street Life is a Street Life. I mean, I I said I liked it. Yeah, I you just guys, liked but you have a screenshot of Street Life. Because I Rise. knew I would remember <laughs> Rise and not Street Life. Because <laughs> <laughs> I liked Rise better. It's in my brain. <laughs> and, and, and to me, I like the whole project. To me, the project is like a masterpiece. It's going to be one that I continue to listen to. I only heard Rise because, like I said, you know, I, I was like, you know, um, Dean over here. I had sisters and, and I had ladies in the house that watch soap opera. So I would always recognize that song. Wow, and I was like, up? who yeah. made this song? And yeah. then um, I went back and looked for the song and I found the artist. And I was like, you know what? In the vault review. In I've never review. heard this whole album. So 
That's cool. I'm glad we brought in the vault review. Miss, you all right over there? Yes. Okay, cool. You seen that? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We ch- check it. I just, I just Hello. make faces all day long. We're guys. live. Uh, so anyway. Yeah. I'm here. The <laughs> what are you talking about? No, she's not here. The faces are here. She's not oh here. My uh, no, just kidding. But uh, we're going to get to another music review. This is uh, Basidi or Basti. I'm terrible All with some right. of these Uh-oh. names right now. But he, he tearing up your names, yeah, y'all. Chad Baker tribute. <laughs> we're going to sip tea or light it up. Let's go.